This is Memoirs of an Illusionary Larsoner on uh, Normal and Hard. I would normally probably consider skipping this quest because we don't really need the XP and it's going to be run at epic levels anyways um, for Reaper XP. But uh, I'm, I'm going to run all these quests, at, you know, uh, just so that you, at least on normal and hard and a minimum, just so that you can see what they are before getting to Reaper. Uh, you don't want to run these for the first time at level 30. Reaper, you know, if you could avoid it, there's a few quests like that that you might, but... The more you could uh, learn about these quests before you get to level 30, the better. And so this quest has a lot of uh, places where this is one of them where all the, the, par all the about to begin. Uh, party members must join together. Where you see the party gathered um, requirement. And so that's the kind of throughout this quest. To find the hero of this story, a true upstanding citizen. So Ooh, first we talk to this upstanding she citizen. Is a master of disguise. Then we go over and talk to Vincent. And then we, we tell him we have a letter and then we return the letter. Sort of a weird uh, mechanic in the beginning of the quest, but And now we're we have an objective to find the bar, so we just follow along the path. Up this ramp. And you click on this tavern symbol watering hole. and then jump on here and again this is another and party must gather type thing uh, hirelings don't count for that and then once we're here we'll talk to the uh, to the boss and then we'll have to deal with all of his all of his uh, his friends and as you destroy a couple here, as you destroy enemies here, more will spawn. Like these haven't activated yet. I should say more will activate. They're already here. And as you as you defeat enemies, others activate. And you can always sort of duck behind. Like once you clear this room especially, you can kind of use this to kind of duck behind if you need to gain, get a little cover. Especially if you have a lot of champions, this could be a rough. This could be rough with all these archers, and uh, you know, having to charge them is a melee. But generally, it's not too bad. And then once you defeat enough of the archers, right? You, I want to grab these guys. At that point, you'll get you'll get the boss and the bodyguard. Let's bring the hireling here. And stay here right. amongst the body. Then you go back on here. I think she forgot to mention that the elf has a lot of friends. You may want to make your exit a hasty one. And right as you get in here, these guys spawn on you, right on top of you. And sometimes, yeah, this guy comes up from below. And so now we just have to make our way to the next spot. And you can go either right or left here, it doesn't matter. But if you try, you know, ideally you don't want to like... So I'm going to go right, but I'm not, not going to activate these guys on the left. It's kind of weird, they're just like disappearing as I hit them. I'm not sure what that, that, that's all about. And you just kind of clear your way here and of course this gets much tougher when you have reapers and champions in the mix and you don't have to go fight those guys over there you can just run onto this to take you to the next part a 
ship fit for a... Well, fit for a minor figure in the Shan Syndicate, at least. Oh, I apologize for the smell, but... So I, we just I talk to him, and you get the objective to, to talk attentive. to the commander upstairs. And so you just kind of go up top, go around, go around, make a... Whoop, this is where we want to go. Make a left in here, and then go up. And the boss is Lucy Lawful. So we just talk to her, and you get the objective that the commander was met, but you also need to go up top and talk to this person, this upstanding citizen, to get the gather the party in the treasure room objective. And then you just go back down to the bottom. And uh, when everyone's gathered, the way to trigger this fight is just click on the chest, and then you have a fight. And you have a couple up here that have become active. Two wizards, and then two orange day marchers. Of course, if there's a champion, like on normal, there's no champion. But if there's a champion, you'll want to do the champion first. And then uh, if you want to loot that chest, just make sure you get to it before you jump on that blue thing oh maybe we can't loot this chest I thought we could well anyways we'll just go on here we'll get to the next part ah, the forest. and then How immediately you have enemies so always get that caster first since the higher link has rogues actually hits pretty hard too and the ranger ranger is really only a problem if he's a champion then you get these two orange name champions or orange name uh, rangers on the symbols one last time then we shall return to where it all began and I'm going to use my holy retribution to try to get a quick strike on these guys Amazing. since there's a second group that spawns and then here's the second group it includes Lucy Lawful the boss and as, you know, as per usual, you want to focus on uh, champions if you're running on Reaper. And of course, Reapers might spawn here. Well, you fared better than I expected. And then you just jump on here. Symbols one last time. No, 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 no. I really mean it this time. No more tricks. I promise. And we will talk to. This Call him name. Strangers is so and then loot the chest. Now you can't get named items in here. I the rates pretty low on normal. But we got one. So let's see what it is here. Um, dusk. So that's a 10% miss strike. We already have that. 15% reduction in in uh, ranged attacks and spells. Doesn't really apply to us. Wizardry 162. So this is not an item that's really really applies to us. But it's nice to get it on normal. All right, so I am just going to pause it while I go back to the quest giver. And this would be great if it had death block. I could use some little extra spell power. And nothing else really looks good, and we don't need guild renown because our guild is maxed out. So I'm just going to grab this and go back in on hard.
shy. Come in, come in. Step on over to the symbols on the floor. The adventure is about to begin. And again, the uh, for this quest, to find the hero of this story, a true upstanding citizen. Ooh, be warned, though, she is a master of disguise. And this is the first person we talked to. And there might be another way to do this, but this is the way I've I've learned. Talk to her, then talk to Vincent, and we go back to the upstanding citizen. And then we get to find the bar objective. watering hole. You will never find a more delightful establishment of scholars and heroism. And once again, we talk to the courier, who's the boss of this area. And then we have to fight a bunch of his mobs. And as we, as we defeat mobs, other groups of, of these rangers become activated. They show up as NPCs and at some point they become active. There we go. Jim, I'll use Holy Retribution here. Get rid of that orange name. It's a good use of that uh, orange name champion. Don't have to go home, but you sure can't stay here. Amongst the bodies. I think she forgot to mention that the elf has a lot of friends. You may want to make your exit a hasty one. Yep, and there's a bunch of these guys immediately start attacking us. And then the orange name from below usually comes up as well. There he is. Again, if you can beat these guys without them, uh, without activating the guys on the left, that's great. Yeah, this mob is funny. They just, like, disappear. Must be programmed a little bit differently somehow. I don't know if there's a story element to that or not. But if these guys, you know, drop down when, when you defeat them, but the other guys just disappear. on here for the next part and one challenge about this quest there is no shrines so if the hireling runs out of spell points that's a it ship fit for a, well fit for a minor figure in the shrine syndicate at least and well, again I we talk I to the ranger smell, he'll direct I, us upstairs we'll get the objective to talk to the commander once we talk to him 
and then you go through this door, sidestep over here around this door, and then run back to the back to talk to Lucy Lawful. And when you do that, you get the you get the ob objective that the commander was met, but you still have to run to this top part and talk to this upstanding citizen to get the objective to gather the party in the treasure room. So if you don't do both those things, the you won't be able to complete the quest. And then you can jump back down, and then the way to activate this fight is by clicking on the chest. And uh, we have two wizards. And of course, we've got two orange names, and neither of them are champions. That's I think there's just a lower chance of champions on hard because on, on Reaper, it seems like they're almost always champions. And we drop down here. And this is sort of the final chapter, if you will. We have an, a little bit of fighting to get to the end fight area. Ah, the forest. How many adventurers, I mean, adventurers come to an end in the forest? Mm, so peaceful and quiet. on the symbols one last time then we shall return to where it all began and again I like to just take this group out real fast with my holy retribution a mean trick I know <laughs> Typical, like, couple of orange names that are champions. Well, you fared better than I expected. Hop on the symbols one last time. No, 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 no. no. I, I really mean it this time. No more tricks. Uh, I promise. This is why meeting strangers is so interesting. A story even I didn't know existed. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. <laughs> and for that, a reward is due. Nothing super interesting. I mean, we have we're not no improvements to our gear, so I'm just going to grab something to sell to a vendor, and that is Memoirs of an Illusionary Larsener on normal and hard.